All right, so I'm in my 99 account. I hardly ever play this. And in this particular account, I've got 600, so let's look at it. I've got 659 trophies. I've played a total of 2,024 games. 1,000 games won, playing at 53%. And I have mid-level clubs. So we're gonna see, here's the deal. We're gonna see what I can do with just mid-level clubs where you're just trying to get to a spot and then you're trying to pick the best club for that spot that you have in your bag. And so a lot of times in this particular bag, I'm assuming it's going to be a Saturn and we'll have to look at, we'll have to look and see. So best driver that I have, I don't have an APOC or a Thor's hammer. So I only have just the, I, I haven't played this account above. I think the only reason that I have some of these tour five clubs is because of like, playing events like the golden shot and playing stuff like that but i don't know that i've played anything above tour four we'll have to see Let, let's see i don't i don't think that i have played anything above tour four in this in one-on-one -on -one play uh, i've played i've i've finished tour five so i've i've played up to tour five and haven't played any tour sixes so i shouldn't have if I have a Tour 6 club, it's only because I got something. Because I think that's how I got the Sniper. I got the Sniper in a couple deals. Man, let's think about what I want to play in my main bag. The Extra Mile is definitely for my big club. And I'm thinking I'm, it might be a Sniper. I got a little bit more power like that. That power difference is big. Ball guides, accuracy blows. Let's let's play with the sniper. Sniper six. So I got to write some numbers down here. So my extra mile is at two point one. So my extra mile is at two point one, and my sniper. My sniper at level six is 100%. It's 100%. One to one. And I believe that my Saturn, I like the Saturn. I have my backbone and the backbone's more accurate, but, and, and it has a little bit better ball guide, but the Saturn has got more backspin, more topspin, more curl. It's it's a for a long iron it's not a bad club it's a good it's a great utility club and i, I don't really and i never really had a lot of success with the backbone the goliath is is a is another good option it has a little bit better ball guide it's got all the distance accuracy is exact goliath could be the could be i i might play with the, i i gotta get used to playing with a goliath because i've been playing with a goliath with my 77 account on occasions. So long there, and we got Goliath. And it's uh, 52 accurate. I'm gonna play it at two per ring. At max. And it could be argued that it's 1.9. And I think the Saturn, if I put the Saturn in one of my bags, the Saturn's playing, the Saturn plays at 1.9. Saturn's great because it has more backspin. I'm going to select the Saturn in that bag. Kingfisher. The only other choice is the Thorn. I think my, my Thorn still doesn't, hasn't got its... The Thorn might not be a bad deal right here because it does have more backspin, but there's a lot of shots in this course that need backspin. And the Kingfisher at 88, it's almost 90. What's that, 1.2? Could it be argued it's 1.3? And the thorn is right there at two again. So there's a bunch of clubs in my bag. If I use a thorn, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the thorn.
because there are some holes in this course that I think the thorn is the would be a good club and as far as ball guide that's a that might be the best that I have yeah and even my thorns are my hornet which is would be my normal club yeah none of my stuff I'm gonna use the thorn because there are some holes here that need more backspin so thorn I'm gonna play it at 2.0 I'll look them up what is it it's a level five Extra Mile, Sniper, Saturn, 8, 7, 8, and I think it's at, uh, yeah, it's 1.9 per ring. I play it at 2, but it's really 1.9. Is that the best that I have? Yeah, my Firefly will be fine. It's the deal with the firefly is, is it's not really accurate, so you want to be on the green making making putts. Machete. Man, is that the best that I got? The razor hits farther. Doesn't have sh it has shit for backspin. It's more accurate doesn't hit that much farther. It does have a much better ball guide though. I think I'm going to take the machete. It's got more top spin and more back spin and more curl. What is that machete? It's a level nine machete. I got to write down numbers. If I'm going to play, play these clubs machete. That's a level nine. My sandwich is definitely, I don't know that there's anything better, better ball guide, more power. At this, at this level, the 109 has got to be the best that I got, and it's the, overall, it's the best club that I have. So I got a Malibu. These are the usual suspects. These aren't going to change. They're going to be the same from one to the next, level seven. Okay, so there's my standard bag. Sniper, Saturn, Thorn, Firefly, Machete. Let's get the Firefly in here. Firefly, level five. Thorn five, Saturn eight. And sniper six. Extra mile seven. This bag needs to be exactly the same. Sniper. Saturn. Using a thorn. And that's a new club. I haven't really played that much with a thorn. The Firefly. I'm going to change this out for the Machete. Malibu. And this is my utility bag. I got three bags here, but this is going to be my utility bag. It's got the uh, big topper. The big dog. Big dog seven. Big dog seven made it into the hunt. Big dog seven. I'm going to take that backbone out and put in a Goliath seven. Goliath. Seven. We're going to play with the thorn. Firefly, machete, and Malibu. All right, that's my utility bag. And this will be my bag because there, I think there's a hole out here that what you really want is not the big topper. But I think you want the extra mile. You want that extra distance. And a sniper. Maybe a big dog in this one. I already have one with a sniper instead of a Goliath. Yeah, we'll 
Okay, I'll play with the Goliath and the Thorn and the usual suspects. All right, we have a bag. We have a bag set up. So here's what we do. We go to, I like it best at Golf Clash Notebook, even though they don't do their stuff anymore. You can go here. Okay, so our, the first club we picked was an extra mile. And we have an extra mile on the wind chart with a three power ball. And it was a level seven extra mile. It's two per ring with a power three ball at max. At mid, it's two three. And at min, it's two six. Okay, and the quarterback, which I didn't write down, but I think that's my accurate bag, my accurate club. Let's go see what my quarterback was. I didn't write down my QB. QB. And it's a QB8. And I also have a big tapa. Big tapa. Four. Extra mile on that. I do have a maxed out rocket, but that's not really going to help me on this course. On the last course, that would have helped me the last tournament that we played all right let's go uh, back to golf clash notebook and a quarterback eight wind chart i got a quarterback eight with a power three ball my max is one my mid is 1.1 1 .1. and my minimum is 1.2 minus 0.1 or actually plus point 0.1 hold on let me see the mid mid was 1.1 1 .1 plus point 0.1 and so was max so it's 1 plus point 0.1 and what I'm doing here I'll get my pen out for those of you that aren't catching it it's one, so in a one mile an hour wind, it's one, but if it was a two mile an hour wind and I had to pull two rings, it's two plus point one. And then if it's three, it's three plus point one. So it goes, and then if it gets up to four miles an hour, it's plus point two. Right? It's the variable that's in there. And if it was at mid club, it's doing the same thing. Here it's playing at 1.1 in a 1 mile an hour wind, but in a 2 mile an hour wind it's playing at 2.3. So it's 1.1 plus 0.1. All right. Did everybody catch that? It did the same thing at min. And I got a big topper. Big topper. That's a level 3. Big topper wind chart I got a level four big topper with a power three ball at max it's 2.6 at mid it's 2.8 and at minimum it's 3.1 all right big tapa let's go long irons now now we can go back to clubs and go to long or wood excuse me I'm not going to use my horizon. I don't think I need it on any of the holes here. The sniper. The sniper. Wind chart. I got a level 6, I believe. The 3 power ball. The max, it's 1. It's 1. Plus 0.1. At mid, it's 1.1. 1 .1 plus 0.1. And at minimum, it's 1.2 plus 0.1. Big dog. Big dog. Big dog's level 3, right? Level 3. Big dog. Big dog level 7 with a power 3 ball. Maximum. It's at 2.0. At two. Hey, if I can get my pen to work. Two. 2.3. 
and that's a 2.3 minus 0 0.1 that's at 2.6 2.6 that would be 5 too so it's plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 let's make sure let's verify this yeah it would be 2.3 times 2 is 4.6 so with this club and at mid it would be 2.3 minus 0.1 2.3 per ring and then minus 0.1 at the end. But if you were in minimum club, you're adding on 0.1. Is that right? It is right. What else do I need? I need a Goliath, so now we're in long irons. I'm only gonna, I really only have a couple clubs here. I don't think I'll need anything more than a Goliath and a Saturn. The Goliath. Level seven, power three ball, max 1.8, 1.8, that's three six, so it's plus 0.1, plus 0.1 at, at max, and then at mid it's 2.2, straight up the board, and then at minimum it's 2.8, 2.8 times 2 is 5, 6, right? 2.8 times 3. I don't think I'll get into those wins. 2.8. Saturn. Which is one better. Level 8. With the power 3 ball. Max. 2.1. Straight up. 2.4. Straight up. And two point two point eight short irons. And these are gonna be I'm gonna take the same clubs so I can get used to playing with these clubs. I'm just gonna play them on every hole, but I think it's the best one overall for the tournament. This is why it would be nice to pick a bag. You have to designate hey, you get a bunch of clubs, now you gotta designate a bag. So you're designating a bag for it and you're trying to pick the best bag for the overall tournament and stick with. Like I've got four usual usual suspects and the other three I'm changing. Thorn. I'm gonna play with a thorn on every one, and I'm playing with a level five, and I got a power three ball. Now some of them I may not be coming in with a power three ball, but I might bring a power three ball on every hole because I think there were some of the par threes that that if you wanted to play it with your, you could do it with a power three ball. Maybe, maybe. Power three, 1.9, and that goes straight up. 2.5, and that goes straight up. 3.7, that would be a six, seven, four. So at minimum, it's 3.7 minus 0.1. All right, Firefly. Okay, get off of there. Clubs. Wedge. Only gonna take one wedge. The Firefly. It's the best. It's the best wedge I have. In, I have. With a power three ball at max, and it is a level five. It's two point two. 4-4, four, four, and it's 4-4, four, four. and anything closer than that, I got that worked out, but with the Firefly, you have to hit it perfect, <laughs> it doesn't have, at level 5, it's got, where's the level 5, the level 5 Firefly's got these stats, so its accuracy is right at 50%, 2.2 but it has top spin what we're looking for is top spin and ball guide and that's what this one has so we can run our top spin and we can flatten it out just like we do with the rapier the only difference is is it's not as accurate you have to hit it perfect 
you can be close enough that you, you might be able to get away with some stuff that's really close, but if you're right off on those ones with your rapier where you hit, you hit a grate and it still goes in, it won't go in with a firefly. You have to hit those perfect. Machete. So you actually want to get up there and make a putt. <laughs> Machete, number nine. Here we go, clubs. Rough iron. Man. I'm so used to a Nirvana that you can... A Nirvana hits is basically a long iron. It hits 135. And your your biggest long iron is your Goliath, and it hits 135. It hits the same as a machete. It's a long iron. And it has kick-ass tools. And so... But most long... Most of these uh, rough irons are not long irons. And a machete is definitely not a long iron. <laughs> so, it's short iron. Machete 9. I do have 101 yards, so it's not bad. Alright, wind chart. Level 9. Level 3. Power 3 ball. Max. With the machete. 2.0. 2.0. Get my pen to work. It's two plus point one. And mid, it's four point one minus point one. And a minimum, it's eight point one. Straight up. Sand wedge. Clubs. Oh, I was using my finger there. That, that was the problem. Sand wedge. Last club. The last of our usual suspects. We got a Malibu. Level 7. Power 3 ball. Max club. 1.3. Straight up. 2.6. That would be 5.2. So it would be minus 0.1. And minimum is 5.1 straight up. All right, we have clubs. We have numbers for all of the clubs that are in that bag. I think I have all of the variations. We'll go through it real quick just to make sure because we want to get out there and want to have numbers. So we're just going to play. We don't know, so we're going to. I'm going to play off my other notes. I have some shots on here so I know how much spin to put on and like that. And so we'll have an idea of what kind of stuff we need. But I'm going to play every hole with a power three ball. I just play every hole with a Titan or a Kingmaker, whichever I need, depending on the hole. Let's make sure I got the bag stuff set up. Get my calculator rolling. Get my little uh, stand here so my calculator doesn't wobble so Dale Appleby doesn't give me shit for hearing my... my calculator wobble so I've got an extra mile a quarterback and a big topper and then I got another extra mile bag I've got a sniper a Saturn a thorn a firefly a machete a Malibu and I'm gonna st I'm gonna stick with the beginner putter that bag is exactly the same other than the driver this bag's got a big dog I got a big dog and I got a Goliath and this bag's got the extra mile with the big dog. Because I think there's one of the holes out there that that'll help. I need the distance on the drive and then I need the distance on the second shot. But I'm going to play, I'm going to try and play most of them with one of these two bags. Let's make sure I don't have a rock that I like better. There are some times when you're, before you get your rock maxed out. When you get your rock maxed out, so you get your quarterback to level 10, it's a great club. And you're going to use it for a long, long time. But there are some times when, when the rock is the better club for that hole. Like it has more curl or it has more, like right now it doesn't. But like it'll get to a certain point where some of its stats are a little better. And right now none of its stats are better. It doesn't have as much curl. It doesn't have as much backspin. It doesn't have as much topspin. But there's a point where it does get better. And you may use the rock on that hole. But when the rock gets to level nine, it takes over the quarterback and you'll never use your quarterback again. And I am not at that point.
quarterback. All right, all right, I got all of them set up. And I'm gonna play round to round with a, with a Titan. Let's select that ball. Let's select that ball. And let's select the katana, because there might be some of these holes I can play with a katana. There might be some of these holes that I can play instead of picking the quarter, the, I'm going to pick a quasar. Actually, yeah, I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a navigator. I think there's some of these holes I can play with a lower power ball. All right, here we go. Here we go. I getting out on the course. Playing some rookie. All that just to play an account with low level clubs or mid level clubs. Hey, and, and I'm going to prove a point here. <laughs> Hopefully. We'll see. Maybe I'll have a shot this in vain. Hole number one. Hole number one. Now we need to go to Tommy's site because Tommy has all the updated stuff. I don't know about the rest of the Tommy stuff, but I can tell you that if you want to learn how to play the golden shot, you got to watch Tommy stuff and pay attention to what he's doing. Watch him shoot the shots before he... I mean, you can go to the end and get the stuff, but watch how he sets the shots up because you'll learn a lot about setting up like where you're... you're you know, he'll have the guide and it's got the white ring off of this transitional surface and the blue ring's off over here and he'll have it wedged into a spot. You set it up there and then you put the spin on then you make your wind adjustment. So you're set up, you're going in the right spot. I think this one, on my notes, I think this should be... I think the second shot here was a little bit difficult. But we will see. Alright, I'll play with my number one bag. And I have brand new numbers in front of me. Like I, I know some of these numbers. I'm, if I fall into, like I play the... Saturn at two per ring, that's because I'm, it's at 1.9. Why did it say it's at 2.1? I think I wrote the Saturn numbers down wrong. I wrote it down as 2.1, but I think I put the wrong level Saturn in there. I have a level 8 Saturn, and it seems like it's 1.9 per ring. I could have swore. I think there is a point in there where it's 45, but there's also a point in there where it's 56 or 54, and it stays right there for the rest of its life. We will see. We're going to go out there and play it with uh, just mid-level clubs. Just play. I'm playing for minimum score and trying to put myself in the right spot so that on every hole I at least have a shot at it. So I'm trying to stay out of the rough. I'd rather leave myself a little short on shots and make sure I have a shot with my best clubs. Oh, I'm going to play this with my accurate bag. Run my measly top spin up there. I'm gonna play it right at the red line. Two seven. There's two seven. I'm gonna just do it straight up. Isn't it perfect? Let's turn my damn grid on. I'll see what my opponent's in. In this situation, I'm happy to go second. I usually like to go first, but I'm happy to go second because I can see what club they're in. So they're in short iron from up there with a three with a three power ball. And so I should be in short iron, which is thorn. All right, I have to splice these together. The glitch. 
I have no idea what happened. But I'm in the middle of a hole. So I'm in my thorn. And there's Max. So I'm right at Max. And Max thorn is 1.9 per ring. So it's 3.1. And on my other notes, it was minus 15 of the cup. So it's 0.85 times 3.1 divided by 1.9. 1.38 rings. One point three eight one four oh, all that work and I missed it. That would have been super close super close I was using my notes for the adjustment to the cup from my 77 account because I'm getting that was pretty much the same spot I hit to with in my 77 account but in that situation I was using a Kingfisher a Kingfisher 7 is awesome it's got more ball guide but that club right there has pretty pretty decent uh, ball guide for its level all right that's hole number one hole number two hole number two i think this was a par three my notes over here say Grizzly Katana. So it's a long iron with a three power ball or a two power ball. Grizzly Katana. And I was doing a rough bump here. And I did one top spin. One to one at mid. Okay, so I did a Grizzly and a Katana. So I'm going to have to do the math here. So let's think here. Instead of a Grizzly, I've got a Saturn, which I think hits about the same. And I brought a Katana. And I could switch that to a Titan if I needed to. And I hit one to one. I added on 10%. At mid club with a Grizzly, it's it's 1.1. And I added on 10%, so those balanced out. So I hit it at one to one. So I hit it at 10% times the wind times the wind divided by that's mid Saturn that's 2.4 per ring all right I have an equation and I got my Saturn and I am ready to play and I may have to up it to a Titan I go first. I go first. One top spin. Three six, one point six five rings. There's one six. Five. Hitting it perfect. Ooh, slight. Did I slightly over pull that? I did slightly over pull it. Or I didn't line it up right. It's hard to tell with the. I, I, I think I was lined up right. My notes here say minus, I hit one to one. I slightly over pulled it. 
was 165 versus 15. If I didn't add on the 10%, if I just did a straight up shot, that would have been 1.5 instead of 1.65, and that might have went in. Close. Close. I'm going to make a note. That play it, man. If I can get my damn pan to work, try at mid. You can come out here with a lower level account that's got stuff and you can practice. So if you've went out with, if you have an account that's got better clubs, one of the reasons why you can watch my stuff is, is you can see the spin. Like I don't always say the spin, but you you can stop the video and see what spin I put on the ball or rewind it and see what the deal was so that you can see like from that distance you may have a club that can hit almost as far but doesn't have as much ball guide so you can't tell like whether you should put three on there or five or but if you know what those spins are because you've seen other clubs do it <laughs> with mortal balls Hole number three. The par fives might be interesting here. Curious. Curious to see. All right, this par five right here. I'm trying to hit out into this area and go from there to the cup. It seemed like somebody did a, I saw somebody do a rough bump here. That is one long ass rough bump. But I think you can go straight at it as well. But I'm not sure where I'll end up. My notes here say I'm in long iron, so I would be back in my Saturn. And I got lots of tools with my Saturn. It can top spin, back spin. It can do lots of stuff. All right. But I think I'm gonna need my number one bag for sure. I need distance on the drive. And I'm gonna switch to uh, my pinned balls, my Titan, Titan, the king of balls. Here we go. Extra miles, two per ring. I like it. Close. I go first. Okay, we wanna to get to this island. We can easily get to that island. I think I can put everything on it. Uh, what do I have here? I don't have how much I put on. I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna put all of it on. It's two per ring. So it's two point two or one point two. Hitting it perfect. And that was with nothing added on. Let's see if I need to add anything on. That looked pretty good. Pretty good right where I was aiming. All right, that should give me exactly the same shot that I'm playing with my other clubs. My next shot is with a long iron at mid club and I had 5.5 backspin. And it was minus 15 to the cup. So it was 0.85 at mid club times the wind divided by mid Saturn is 2.4. I don't think that's right. I think the 2.4 might be right, but I can't believe the 2.1. I thought it was 2.3. 2.4. I will do what I have written down, but I don't think it's right. Saturn, there's Max, there's Man, there's Mid Club, 5.5 backspin, there's three, four, five and a half backspin, no side spin. Went straight at it. 3.2, it's 1.13 rings. 1.13.
Hitting it perfect. Perfecto. <laughs> I hit the flagpole. I got my distance wrong, but my trajectory was right. I did, I did the same thing I did with my 77 account. I did minus 15 to the cup and I was at mid club. So mid club, I played what I had written down, but I, I can't believe that that's right. I'm, I gotta go check it. I played 2.4 at mid club. So the equation was 0.85 times 3.2, the wind, divided by 2.4. Ended me up at 1.13333333. Close. Got my distance wrong. I would have liked to have ended up where I was the closest to the cup, and I was definitely the closest to the cup when I hit the flagpole. <laughs> Way too fast. <laughs> Way too fast. All right. I'm just gonna play. I'm gonna play the clubs that I have in this bag, but I'm gonna play the notes that I got from watching the 77, keeping track of what I added on. On some of them, I didn't write down what I did for spin. I just wrote down what my percentage was to the cup and where I was in the club and hole number four. Hole number four. What is hole number four? It's a par three. Okay, so my notes, my notes say I'm going to use a Grizzly, so that means I'm going to be back in my Saturn. Ah, I was at mid club here, and I was doing plus 10 to the cup. And I was trying to hit off of the island and bring it around. I tried the rough bump down there, but for some reason, it worked. I, I will tell you why. It, it worked from the Pro Tees because they're straighter on and I didn't have to have as much side spin but from the rookie tees this angle down there you're so far down into it you can't get it over the hump to get it back to the cup unless you bring like a four or five side spin ball and I don't want to burn and I, I probably don't even have any in this account so I'm going to bounce it off the island and then bring it around I'm not going to bounce from over here so I'm going to be on my Saturn at mid club which is 2.4 and I'm doing plus 10. So it's 1.1 times whatever the wind is divided by mid club 2.4. All right, hold on. All right, I'm back. All right. All right, we're gonna play it. I got an equation. I know what club I've got. Oh, you know what I didn't, what I didn't change was I had a katana. I didn't fix my bag. I go first. Switch to a katana. Three point four, three point four, one point five five rings. Point five five. I let it go by a few times, and I feel like I should have uh, reset. Arr. I think I hit it great, and it came in great, so at least I was somewhat on the track. Arr, arr, dang it, dag nabbit, hole number five. Okay, for this next hole, I got on my notes, APOC power five ball, two side spin, plus 10 on the drive, red line of curl. I have no idea what the shot is to the cup. I didn't write that down. In the hole. 
All right. All right. Let's see if my opponent can get in the hole. We don't want any long putts like that. That is a long putt. That's one of those putts that if you hit it great to the left or the right, it might go in. But you can see where they came in right there. Was that a perfect and it barely went in the cup? It starts to roll off. It's a draw. All right, hole number five. Hole number five. What the hell is hole number five? I think what I was doing was I'm going I'm going this way. And I've done this before in my I've done this before with lower with lo, a lower level ball. So I should be able to do it with an, a bigger ball in this account with lower level clubs. And let's see what I have that's got the best distance and curl. Okay, my extra miles got 47 curl, so, but it's got its distance. And my quarterback has got 82 curl, and I don't think I have enough oomph to get me up there with it. This has got 217, and my quarterback's at 214, so the big topper would be a better club if I have the room, I think with a power five ball, let me think, let me think with my other account. With my other account, with a power five ball, you have a window on this side right here so that you can start off where you're, you've cut the angle because you you can move over. There's no rough over in that holla. <laughs> but if I was using a power three ball, I was like back here. And so you're getting pushed out to the left and you're trying to bring the ball to the right. This is especially exacerbated when you've got a club that only has 47. Your biggest hitting club only has 47 curl. So you're trying to get to the right to stay within this 47's range and it's forcing you to move it to the left in order to give yourself room for it for this 47 to develop and not clip the rough right here. Distance wise, hey, not in there. Bag number one, extra mile info 234, 240 is the most. It does have a little bit of its distance to get, but I think I can get there with an extra mile. Do I have any power five? I have one power five ball. I'm gonna do it with the Titan. I can do it with the Titan. I'm confident. I'm confident. I think I'm gonna use a Kingmaker. I do have some of those. That's a mortal ball. That's a ball we can buy in the store. We should be able to buy Berserkers in the store. I have no idea why they don't put them in there. I have no idea why they don't want to take our cash by putting Berserker balls in the store. And a 444, and they need to come out with like a new two power ball. It'd be nice to have two four options. Or at least another two option that's got more side spin or less wind or more wind or some 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 such stuff or precision. All right, here we go. Here we go. Getting out on the cores. Oh, hey, I gotta go back. I, I gotta, I gotta verify something because if I get into that position again, it's gonna bug the hell out of me. But I had uh, clubs, long iron, Saturn, wind chart, level eight, three power ball. Man, it says 2.1, 2.4, 2.8. The reason I say, what is a level 8 Saturn? 
Ah, oh, I got you. It's at 51. 51 accurate right here. 51 accurate. I was thinking it was at the 56, and it, at, when it, I'm used to playing it at a level 10 or 9, and it's and it's uh, 1.9 per ring if you're being accurate. But I play it at 2, and here it's at 2.1, even though it's, I mean, it's right off. But they're saying with a 3 power ball, it plays it at 2.1. I'm okay with that. I'm all right with that. I gotcha. All right. Hole number five. Hole number five. What do I got for the drive here? Plus 10 on the drive. 1.1 times whatever the wind is. Extra, extra mile. And a kingmaker. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get on. I'm going for the green and one. Now, I will tell you that there are some big ass risks because if you get caught behind these trees, you are caught behind these trees and you could end up in a situation where you can't recover, where you have to hit the ball backwards in order to get out from behind one of these massive trees. So there is some risk involved with this ri looking for reward shot that I'm gonna do with no practice with this club. But I'm going to get on a one. I don't know how. And it's going to push me forward from that spot, like three, three. All right. Max curl. Hitting it perfect. Hitting the fairway. Hitting the fair. Oh, I just barely clipped it right there. Just barely clipped it. <laughs> if I'd have been two feet to the left, I, it widened out right there at the end where it does the little thing, and I clipped it right there, just a little bit to the left, and I would have had a little bit more distance. And if it would have hit right there, I think it would have bounced over. Arr, close, so, so close. All right, now for my rough iron, I have a machete, which is not the club that you want to have for this situation. It's no Nirvana, I can tell you that. Yeah. But we do have a shot. I have numbers for it, so we do have a shot. Two backspin, three backspin. Three. Three divided by, man, I'm in that eight per ring range. Point four per ring. Where'd that put me? All right. If you're gonna hit it great one side or the other, that was the side, but oh, so close. I think a perfect would have been right there. <laughs> it rolled out. It would have hit the flag. I would have had to be absolutely dead center for it. I think it would have bounced off the flagpole if it would have been on either side of it. I did have a shot, a shot at it. My opponents have to take another long ass putt. And I'm going to take a short putt. Get good at long putts or get good at hitting closer. That's the whole goal. I find myself in tour 10 because of the wind stuff up there having to hit longer putts. Like the 6 to 8 yarders. I really don't like those putts. Alright, hole number. 
Hole number six. What is hole number six? My notes say APOC, Berserker, Grizzly, plus 20 on the drive. That's all I got. That's all I have for hole number six. So let's go look at it. Hole number six. Hole number six. All right. Now, I think I was trying earlier to get over here and I got stuck in the deal, but I think with this account, if I play from here, my secondary club's going to be a wood. This is wood. I think this up here is long iron, but where, but here's the deal. I was caught in the middle and I shot it with my Nirvana and I was able to make it because I was in long iron range. I'm not, I don't have a long iron rough. I might only be able to hit to right here. And the rough iron I'm using doesn't have a lot of top spin, so I don't want to end up in the rough under any circumstances. I would I want to end up on this hitting with a wood. So let's go look at what my let's make sure we got bag number five. I'm not using it for anything. Let's make sure we've got the best stuff we we can get. I think or bag number four. I think we can play this with just a QB if we're trying to lay it up. Let me look at it again. I think we can. I think we can. I think we can. I think we can. Because the QB's got better ball guide. It hits quite a bit. Dis quite. It's at. No, I. I don't think so. I'm gonna have to bring my extra mile. Let's make sure we can get to where we're going. And I want. I think I have a guardian here. It's got some backspan. It does. Shitty ball guide. 66 accurate. It's 1.77. 1.7. I think I'm going to select that. I think the rest of that stuff will work. All right, let's play it. But I think at the very end, that side spin might come in handy. So I'm gonna play it with the Kingmaker. Eagle in an account that's never played beyond Tour 5. Alright. I've got plenty of room. Plenty of room. And I want to give myself plenty of room. There's three top spin. Let the bounce over, bounce over and roll forward, 3-9. If I did it straight up and didn't add anything, that'd be 2. Then I'm going to add on 0.3. And hit a 75 ring great to the left and end up in the rough right here. Wow, come on, come on. Whew. I wasn't trying to get all the way to the front. I would have liked a little bit better angle than that. The two ring great to the left is, but when you're playing two rings great and trying to lay it up, you don't want to hit two rings great with a club that hits 2.1 per ring. <laughs> that means you end up four, four miles an hour off on the end. Uh, let's see what it looks like from up there because I think with if you were just trying to hit it straight forward straight up and not trying to get to the next lily pad you might be able to get closer on that side i'm not sure if you wouldn't still be in your wood i hope this guy makes it even though i don't know that they set it up right
Man, they almost made it. We'll see what kind of clubs they have, their secondary club, to see whether or not they can make that guardian. I could try and bounce it over. It gives me, what is that? That's everything I can get on it. It's at max club. So it's a 1.7. 3.6 divided by 1.7. If I took it straight up, it's at 211. I'm going to do 2 2. I think I needed to. And I hit it great. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Damn it. And I didn't have to do it that way. I played it that way because I thought I might have a better shot at it, but that's not how I I would have normally played it in one-on-one. -on -one. I would have played just to get back up on the green and recover. And I would have, and on that side, on the right-hand side, it's super easy to end up on the green over there. There wasn't any rough or any shit that you had to bounce over. You had total control. This is going to be a shit shot with this club. I have no idea about the speed. Whether that's too fast or too slow. I missed it. Missed it. That was a two ring great to the left. I think a one ring would have went in. Arrgh. Now I gotta pick a shot up somewhere because I just dropped the shot off the minimum score from my own volition. I should have just went up there and recovered and played for minimum score. I wasn't in a really good spot. But I could have played it a lot better than that. Oh! All right, hole number seven. What is hole number seven? Hole number seven's a par three. And I played with a Grizzly and a Navigator, so it's a Saturn and a Navigator. I played at Mid Club, plus 25, 1.25 times whatever the wind is, divided by Mid Club. Mid Saturn is 2.4. And I played with a Navigator and a Saturn. Put on three backspin, no side spin. Okay, three backspin, no side spin. I got good notes on this one. I don't know that the numbers are right. That's where I was that's where I was at in my 77 account when I was playing. I took the shot. And on the ones that I hit perfect, or I extrapolated three backspin. Two point three, one point two rings. two rings. I think it's going to come in on the 1.2. I think it's going to come in on the right hand side. Hitting it perfect. I think I had it lined up to the right. Ooh, came into the left. Didn't pull it enough. 
I did a 25% there. I think I, I think I tried a 20 in my 77 account and it wasn't enough, so I added on, but I was pretty close, so I added on five. I might add on five more. It's hard to tell because I don't have the ball guide and I, I wasn't sure my line was right. Now they're playing with a Goliath and the Goliath, they got a Goliath eight and I've got a Goliath seven, but I think their Goliath gets ball guide at eight. I'm not sure mine would flatten out like that. There is a rough bump that you can do there. I should try that rough bump on my 77 account and see what it looks like. I think the deal with that rough bump is eh, that might be a good spot to do a rough bump. In the hole. All right. Where, what do we got? What, what are we on? We're on hole number eight. I got a lot, a lot of notes for hole number eight. And I used a katana in my main account, but I think here I'm going to use a kingmaker or a titan. I'm taking out my number one bag. Let me get my phone plugged in here. Since it's yelling at me that, hey, hey dude, you want to keep using the calculator, you better plug my ass in. All right, hole number eight. What I'm going to do on hole number eight, I believe, is I'm going over to here. I'm going out with a thorn. Because I think I can get out here farther in a more consistent spot out here than I can trying to ride this ridge coming along. Like ideally, and I think I've hit the shot with some bigger balls where I've ended up like out in this area and I ended up in the good stuff. But I have also ended up in the rough and the sand all along this line and in the drink several times because of how it rolls off. But I think over here you can get to the right spot every time. And in my upper developed account, I've got... A bigger thorn a maxed out thorn and so it's got all of its ball guide and you can get a really killer read so I wrote down what the spin and stuff but I didn't write down where I started off and and but well let's see what it looks like let's see what it looks like so I'm gonna take my number one bag and I'm taking a king uh, I didn't write down that I'm doing any spin so I'm just gonna take a Titan Here we go. Hole number eight, plus 20 on the drive. 1.2 times whatever the wind is. Divided by two. You can get way up there. If you bring the right stuff, you can get way up there. You bring out a bigger ball, you can get your start point farther forward so your first bounce is more down in the curve already. So by the time it gets to the second bounce, it's already going towards the cup. Or going around that bend, you can get it, you can get some good shots down there. But you'll find yourself in the rough more often than not, I think, in my opinion, <laughs> that it's not consistent. I got everything on it. I don't want to give myself two rings of separation. And I could come to the, to the left a little bit more. Put a little bit of, or excuse me, a little bit of right hand side, side, or curl. Two, four. 
2.4, 2.4, it's 1.44 rings. I'm going to do 144. And lean just a little. And it perfect. I was out to my green line. I had the ball completely on the outside of the green line. Let's see if that's enough curl. I could have got a little bit more distance, but I, I don't have any more topspin in that. So what I could do is, like where my red line was at, I could push, I think I was back from my red line. I could push all the way up to my red line along the deal, but I'd have to put more curl on it because it's farther forward in the shot. I was trying to leave a little bit of room there so on a headwind day I could pull back. I think that's about the same spot I got in my 77 account. Laying it up, baby. Pizza will be here in about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay. You want to get it when it comes? Yep. Tip. Tip. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm in a thorn. Where am I at in my club? There's Max. Max club. Max backspin. Max club is 1.9. What did I do to the hole? It is... 3.6 divided by 1.9 plus 0.2 is 2.1 rings. Two point one. There's two. One. And there's a great into the hole. Arr! What a, I, I, I don't think that would have went in. I think I still would have hit back here and it would have came back on its trajectory back but it would have been closer. <laughs> it would have been nice to see what it looked like perfect. Man, other than the one shot that I actually screwed up, me personally, my clubs had nothing to do with it. I played the wrong shot there. I went for the, I went for it, and I wasn't in the right spot. I should have just recovered, but I pushed my luck just to try and give myself a shot at it. It's the only hole that I didn't give myself the perfect shot at it, and I duffed it. Duffed it. Hole number nine. Okay, so I have to make this one so that I can at least I can at least redeem myself and end up with a minus 12 All right Now in my upper level account I was trying to get out to here, but I think you gotta have to have a bring out a top spin boost ball So I'm gonna hit to this island And I'm gonna bring just my normal stuff just this bag, but I'm not trying to get out to the I'm just trying to get to the, I'm going to bring a, and that wind might help me. I'm going to bring that ball. Here we go. Let me think. On the first shot, I don't think the, the uh, three side spin will help, but on the second shot, the side spin might, might help me. And lower wind doesn't help. It doesn't hurt, but it really doesn't matter. You still have to make an adjustment. So, it doesn't matter if you have to pull 2.1 rings or 3.1 rings. It's all about spin. And some of these holes, I don't need as much spin as I put on the ball, but the deal is, is I give myself, I try and give myself room to maneuver man that's going to be everything i can just to get up there three six that's two rings that's three six if it just pushed me forward and it does carry it's plus 20 on the drive so 
I can put a little bit on it. I'm going to rub the nubs. Isn't it perfect? And just try and bleed myself out there. All right, I got the right. I got the right ball. That's where I was trying to get. I don't have. I don't have a. I mean, if I try and risk trying to get to the next one, getting to the next one would be awesome. But if I try and risk getting over to the next one and don't have the right stuff, I don't have the right rough iron. I will struggle big time to get up there so you got to play your clubs and from there you got to you got a killer long or wood shot and it should be at max my notes don't have anything at all about what I do to the cup and I have no idea what's Tommy say plus 10 to the cup I'm gonna hit it straight up Perfect. And they got to the same place as me. And they had to do a max overpower shot, and I just barely had to do any overpower. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, there's Max. There's Man. I'm at mid club. I'm going to eek Man. Pull back here. I got plenty of plenty of side spin. Two point three. I'm just gonna do two three. If I can get the shot off in time. Isn't it perfect? Whew. Man, I barely got that off in time. Almost got lost. Oh, just missed it. Just missed it. And the pizza guy came right when that happened. Close. 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 We were both close. Let's see who ended up closer. I didn't I didn't see mine because the pizza guy came. We're about the same distance apart. I think I'm closer to the cup though. Getting it perfect. Perfecto in the hole. All right, other than the one that I screwed up, and what happened on the one was there's a sand trap here, and the and the, here's the green, here's the flagpole, and, and, and that island was here, and I tried to bounce it over this rough, or excuse me, there was a rough area here, and I tried to bounce it over, and what I should have did was went up here and pinched myself where I was in this corner and gave myself like three or four rings of separation, and my ball guide would be facing out here, and what I'm looking at is where my ball guide ends, and where the cup's at on the arc. And I'm gonna put curl all the club's curl on it and just curl it over to the green so it sticks on the green right here and I just make a putt and move along. And this is a guaranteed shot. Like you can do this shot, like even if you hit it, if you hit it great on the inside, cause you're not gonna have enough curl to get to the cup, it, it comes over here. And if you hit it great on the outside, it comes over here. It's, it, you can damn near slice it. And it goes over there every time. But I went for the island trying to get a run at the cup to really try and get the Alvi. And missed it. Dagnabbit. Why are we frozen? Are we going to play it again? 
We're going to play it again, Sam. Did I get lost in translation? We got out of it. All right, there you have it. A minus 11. Okay, so here, here is the lesson here. I have brand new clubs and I fully take responsibility for the shot that I dropped. Now it was not my club's fault, that was the player, not the clubs. I know how to play that shot if I'm just trying to recover and I got greedy and I paid for it. It wasn't the club's fault. But if you have if you have clubs, just going in and finding the numbers for your clubs, whatever they are. And so your clubs, you're gonna have a running sheet of what your club numbers are. So if you're playing with a regular set of bag, bags, then you're gonna know the clubs that you're playing with and you'll get used to those numbers. So you won't have to, like a lot of times you won't have to glance at your sheet. You may glance at your sheet if you're in the mid or the mid numbers, but like the max numbers, you'll, you'll have those down. Some clubs like your short iron, you may have all three numbers down because you're, that's when it really gets important. A lot of times with your wood and your long iron, you're hitting it at max club. Sometimes the long iron. I have to look at my long iron quite a bit. I got the I got the short iron numbers down. But you can start off with any bag. So like what helps what helps is when somebody has clubs like I have in my 77 account where they have got really good clubs and, and I have earned those clubs by playing and getting my clubs better. And some clubs, like right here in this account, I haven't played anything in order to get any of the Tour 6 and Tour 7 clubs. So I'd have to get them in something special. And I do have a couple Tour 6 clubs that I got in the Golden Shot. But those clubs that are up there not having those clubs, you, it, you can still, if you have clubs down here and you've picked the best clubs that are in your bag, for the distances. If you know what kind of spins to put on them, you can watch my videos and I don't always write those spins down because I can go back out there and replicate that spin. Because I know that when I set up a lot of my shots, I'm always two rings off of something or I'm three rings off of something. Dinner. All right, it's pizza time. Have a good one. That was a uh, that was a qualifying round with low-level clubs, and while I appreciate low-level clubs, I like playing with. I like playing with. I earned the clubs that I have, and I like going out there and playing with them. And I know that if I'm playing with those clubs, it helps all of you out. So that's that's why I play with upper developed clubs. <laughs> that's it. I like them. They're my clubs. Take that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe, hit the like button, ring the bell, leave a comment. I read all the comments. I respond to them. That's it. Thank you.